Hello and welcome. Welcome to the birthday vlog. I think that's what I've decided. Tomorrow is my birthday. Today is my birthday eve. It is the 23rd of February right now. It's Wednesday. Tomorrow I have to teach so I don't mind working on my birthday. I just hate having to go to campus and like teach on my birthday. <laughs> I'd rather be able to just stay home, but it should be fine. It's my last day of teaching for the week and it's my last day of being in the classroom for a couple weeks because next week we're doing conferences and the week after that is spring break. I'm so excited for that. It is, I'm gonna say this and you're gonna, know, the long time viewers are gonna know exactly what the weather is like when I say this, but it is, the best day ever. It's the best day before my birthday. It's cloudy and it's raining. I don't know if you've been able to hear that in the back. The rain has kind of fizzled out. I'm sure it will come back though. But yeah, it's cloudy and it's rainy and it's cool. It's only 45 degrees. I know it's pretty humid out, so it pro it doesn't feel quite that crisp, but um, and, like I've got windows open, um, so obviously it's not that cold. I'm in one of my snuggly jumpers. I'm having a very lazy birthday eve morning of the day before my birthday. I still am wearing my pajamas. I've just thrown a jumper. Uh, over them, <laughs> but I still got my pajamas on. I'm in my cozy slippers. I Yeah, it's the only thing I have to go out for today is a doctor's appointment. That's later this afternoon I've Got therapy starting online in a little bit. I've got a bunch of grading I'm done with the essays, but I now have some worksheets from the next project that I need to grade. So I'm gonna to try to get completely caught up on grading and possibly also send out some check-in emails to students who are a little behind. But yeah, it's just, it's very dark. I've only got the lamps on over here. I, it only looks this bright because I'm right by the window, but it is pretty dark. All the fairy lights are on in the apartment. It looks more like it's 5 p.m. in here, but it's still morning. But there's just the sound of light rain outside. I've got a cup of coffee. My phone has like gone down, but it still tastes good. So I've got coffee. I've got a small piece of birthday cake because if you can't eat birthday cake with your coffee in the morning, the week of your birthday, I don't know when you can. I'm determined to just have a really, really lovely, cozy, magical work from home day today. I might, the rain might stop. I think it's gonna be cloudy all day, but I think the rain is gonna stop later this afternoon, so I might go out for like a cloudy walk this afternoon. It's such a good day. I'm so happy. Tomorrow's gonna be sunny on my birthday, but it's still cool. So I just feel like I'm being given the best gift of the weather <laughs> for my birthday this year, and I'm so happy. <laughs>
Okay, I am now home. I'm back. Um, I went out, I went to my doctor's appointment. I'm now back from my doctor's appointment. So update from the doctor. I now have a technical term for what the cardiologist or was the, phys the physician's assistant at the cardiology office. What he called skippy beats is technically paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. PSVT. So I get why they call it Skippy Beats. That is a mouthful. Per paroxysmal super. Say that five. Say that even one time fast, let alone five times fast. So like, I get it, but like, I still would have preferred to have like had the technical term along with it. So basically, what that is, I just this is just what Johns Hopkins Hospital or medicine says, a type of abnormal heart rhythm or arrhythmia. It occurs when a short circuit rhythm develops in the upper chamber of the heart. This results in a regular but rapid heartbeat that starts and stops abruptly. And so that's exactly what I've been dealing with. My heart will be beating at a normal heart rate and then we'll just all of a sudden, for like three to five seconds, we'll beat at a much faster, like, 190 200 beats per minute really fast heart rate for just a few seconds and then it goes back down but eat but then the heart rate goes back down but even when the heart rate is elevated it's still a regular rhythm not skipping a beat or doing any kind of weird tap dancing kind of a thing it's still beating regularly just really really fast so cool i've got a name for it now something that doesn't sound like peanut butter <laughs> So I was able, thankfully, I was hoping that when I went to my primary care today that she would have the report from the cardiology office and that it would have the technical term for it. So I was able to get that from her. It is still cloudy and still looks stormy, although I do see some blue sky. Go away. I don't want to see you today. I can see some breaks in the clouds where it's like not, or it's trying to like, the sun's trying to come out. So I'm gonna work for another hour. I need to do some more grading. I'm getting, I'm slowly but surely getting caught up on grading. So I wanna do some more grading and then I really wanna go for a walk. So we will see, but it's still nice and cool out. It's still only 48 degrees. They say it's gonna get up to 54. I am highly doubting that. So I would like to try to go for a walk in a little while. I think in an hour would be really nice if it's definitely, it says the rain has stopped, but I wanna wait and just see what the clouds do because the clouds I can see still look kind of rainy. Still a beautiful, very cloudy, very moody day and I am living for it. <laughs> officially caught up on grading. Everything has been graded. There is nothing left <laughs> sitting in the grade center at the moment 
waiting to be graded. It is all graded until someone turns in something late. It only took me like two weeks, but I am once again caught up, which is a great feeling. Um, of course, next week they start turning in their rough drafts. So I'm not gonna be caught up for long, but that's okay. It is still very, very cloudy out, but I am just desperate to go for a walk. I really just want to get out there. But it's hard to tell if it feels so dark because it's getting later in the day or if it's because it's going to storm again. The, the weather's saying it's not going to rain anymore. So I'm bringing an umbrella. I've got it tucked into the pocket of my leggings. So I'm gonna bring an umbrella just in case. I've also got my hoodie. So if it just starts sprinkling, I can just put the hood up. But yeah, I'm gonna go for a walk. I just downloaded a new audiobook from the library, so I think I'm gonna start listening to that while I walk, maybe switch to music, we'll see how I feel, and then come home and enjoy a nice quiet evening because I'm caught up on grading. Such a good feeling. <laughs> out though <laughs> it was it was pretty chilly out there just 
still 46. It's not gonna get any warmer than that. Tomorrow and Friday are still gonna be pretty cool. Tomorrow's only gonna be 57. Friday's gonna be 64. I honestly can't remember. I don't think it was this cold for my birthday last year, and I know it wasn't this cold in 2020, because I remember going out um, for my birthday that year, but it was right before the pandemic really kind of got bad here. And I remember going out and feeling like, I, I wore a cardigan that day, but it was spent most of the day tucked in my bag. Um, but then yeah, after, after Monday, it's gonna be like low 70s this weekend, then 77 on Monday, and then it goes straight up into the 80s next week. So next week I'm working from home all week, so I don't have to walk on campus. But yeah, oh my gosh, my walk just now, so nice definitely chilly and my face was freezing so I felt great oh my gosh it was so nice I think I was out there for over an hour which was longer than I thought I was going to do but oh, it was just so nice I would have stayed out there longer but I knew it was getting late and I needed to get home I hope I sleep well tonight I feel like I should after all the fresh air and just how nice today has been today has felt really really magical I won't lie Oh, it's just been, it's just been fantastic. Sun is trying to come out, but it's still very, very cloudy. There's like, you can see it in the screen. It just, there's a little bit of sun now hitting the building across from me. But then dark clouds behind that. The sun is trying, but you know, sun, you can just take a break for a day. It's not really how it works here in Arizona. Heaven forbid the sun goes a whole day without being seen. Anyway, now I'm just rambling. I need to go. I'm gonna enjoy a nice cozy evening. And then tomorrow's my birthday. It's just, it's been a really good day today. It just has, I'm really grateful for that. It just, just felt like a really calm, quiet, magical day. This weather has just been amazing. And yeah, it's just making me feel really, really good. <sighs> another wonderful Wednesday. So far Wednesdays have felt pretty good this semester, but yeah, another wonderful Wednesday. And tomorrow will be a birthday Thursday. Birthday Thursday, I like the sound of that. <laughs> Officially, my birthday. I am 41. That's just a bit wild. <laughs> I've been thinking about that this morning as I've been just kind of legging and lounging in bed. <laughs> I've had a very lazy start to the day considering it is a work day, but it's my birthday, so that's that's what I'm telling myself. I'm allowed to be a little lazy on my birthday. It was very warm and snuggly in my bed this morning. Um, I slept with a hot water bottle at the foot of the bed last night, keeping my feet nice and warm and toasty. And then that just keeps the whole bed under the duvet nice and warm and toasty. It is currently, I think it's, 38 degrees outside right now. Oh, it's up to 41. It was 36, I think, when I first woke up. And then I was texting my friend Cheska in England and telling her that it was about 36, or I converted it for her. It was four degrees Celsius. It's only gonna get up to 14 degrees Celsius today, about 55, 56 degrees Fahrenheit. Yesterday, it was 
really cool and rainy all day and today it's going to be sunny but still really really cool anyway I'm not gonna film my whole makeup I just wanted to chat with you guys really quick um, while I started to get ready um, I need to do my makeup I'm focusing just on my eyes but I am going to do probably some under eye concealer and blush because I want to take some birthday selfies before work today I will probably get some micellar water before I go to work and wipe everything off from my eyes down so that it's not in a mask but yeah I want to definitely focus on my eyes and make my eyes look really pretty what palette I think I'm gonna go back yeah yeah I'm gonna use the Too Faced Christmas London palette this has some colors that I think will go I'm wearing a bright pink top today for my birthday so I think I can do some eye look I, I can do an eye look with that. I might also mix in some other stuff. Yeah, hair, makeup, and then get to work. <laughs> Okay, it is now a while later. Office hours have just ended. I am now on my lunch break, so I need to go make some food. And then usually during this time, I make some food, sit down in my chair, put the heating pad on my shoulder just to, just to help me get through the rest of the day <laughs> and watch a YouTube video or something. So that is what I'm going to do, but first, I did want to take a minute and share some of the birthday gifts that I got myself. Normally I do a whole like what I got for my birthday video, but I am I really haven't gotten that much either as gifts from other people or that I've bought myself. I'm just gonna kind of put it in here. You did see in a couple vlogs ago the adorable ornaments that my friend Janelle made out of my book covers with the year of each book on the back. So I've got those here on my desk. I'm still loving those. And then a friend of mine gifted me a book. I'm going to show you that in a second. And then my mom gave me some money to put towards a gift that I bought for myself so I'm going to show you that as well in a minute so I just thought I'd take a moment and show you um, what I got most of it this year were books I bought four books <laughs> so well I bought three I was given one so the one that I was given um, by my dear friend Cheska is Beth Kempton's Wabi Sabi Japanese Wisdom for a Perfectly Imperfect Life this has been on my list for a while. Beth Kempton is the author of the Calm Christmas and a Happy New Year book that I absolutely love. And after hearing more about this one, this sounded like something that would be really good for me. <laughs> the other nonfiction book I got is The Book of Huga. So not to be confused with The Little Book of Huga by Mike Viking. This is The Book of Huga by Louisa Thompson Britz, and this is The Danish Art of Contentment, Comfort, and Connection. And this one just sounded really good. I'd heard Beth Kempton mention this book in her Calm Christmas podcast, and the way that she was talking about this book made it sound like exactly something I wanted to read. So then I got two novels. 
um, that I've been wanting to read. So by Sophie Cousins, who's the author of This Time Next Year, which I absolutely loved. I bought Just Haven't Met You Yet, which looks and sounds really, really cute and exactly like something I wanted to read. So I'm looking forward to reading that one. And then by Beth O'Leary, who wrote The Flat Share, which I absolutely loved. I really wanted to read her second book. I want to read all of her books, but I want to like read them. They're all different. They're all standalones, but I still kind of wanted to read them in order. So, um, and this one was the one that I'm most interested in of her four books total. So this is The Switch, which is really cute. Love that cover. And this one just sounds absolutely adorable and right up my alley. Then the big thing that I got myself, which I, what finally made me kind of pull the trigger on this was so in my last vlog the one I'm currently editing but it will be the one that will have gone up just prior to this one I mentioned that I needed to get some airpods so that I wanted to get some airpods the little wireless earbuds that I currently have weren't working they were starting to glitch there's a cheap pair like 20 bucks from Amazon they've lasted me a few years and they've been decent, but they're still like not quite what I really wanted. I bought those rather than going straight to AirPods because I wanted to see if I could have a pair of wireless earbuds and not lose them <laughs> before I paid for AirPods. And I have. It's actually not been that difficult to keep track of them. Knock on wood, because now I don't have a pair of cheap $20 random earbuds, I have a pair of AirPod Pros. So I bought the Pro. They're currently being charged up. Um, so they're here attached to my charger. The sound, I've never tried any of the other AirPods, so I can't compare them to anything. I did look at a lot of comparison videos on YouTube because I was trying to decide which I wanted, like was it worth splurging on the Pros these were actually on sale. I don't know if they will still be on sale by the time this vlog goes up, but just as I got a pretty good deal on my Series 7 Apple Watch back in was it January that I bought that, I got a smoking deal on the AirPod Pros. So these normally retail for $250. I got them for $174. And then my mom is giving me some money for my birthday to put towards these. I've only been using these for a couple days, so it's still kind of early, but already I'm absolutely loving them. Anyway, I need to go get on with my break. I have, yeah, about an hour before I have to go. So I'm gonna go make some, um, I haven't had a much breakfast. I think I'm gonna make a bagel and some scrambled eggs and some stuff like that for my lunch and then go snuggle in my chair and just relax for a little while before it is time to go to work. But I'm having a lovely birthday so far. And yeah, um, work will be fine. Work will be absolutely fine. I'm looking forward to using my AirPods <laughs> on campus today. It's all good, but now it's time to go take a break.
I have just been talking for I don't know how many minutes and the camera hasn't even been running. That is how I'm feeling tonight. I am so tired. <laughs> this is why I don't vlog on Tuesdays or Thursdays. I literally, by the end of the day, I have nothing left. I am running on empty right now. I just need to get home. I need to take a shower and get myself cleaned up and just nice and cozy again. Yeah, I just oh, can't think straight. I got through class. Classes were good. Classes were fine. My students were lovely. A bunch of them wished me a happy birthday. It's very sweet. We got out a few minutes early, so that was great. And now I'm driving away for the last time for two weeks. So I don't have classes. We're doing online conferences next week and then the week after next is spring break. So next week is going to be intense because I'm seeing like 88 or 90 students. I've got 92 students technically on the roster, but some students just aren't participating. So I'm sure there will be some, some students that just don't do a conference, but I'm still seeing at least 88 students next week. It's like at least five hours a day, <laughs> Monday through Friday. It's a lot. But it'll be fine. At least I'm working from home for that. And I'm looking forward to seeing everyone individually. So like I know next week is going to be a lot, but I'm also looking forward to it. Anyway, I cannot speak anymore. I've got a protein bar that I'm going to eat and I'm going to start drinking my big water bottle. I had a, my smaller water bottle in my handbag and then I keep my big water bottle in the car. So I need to start making a dent on this because I know I'm dehydrated, which does not help my heart problem. Um, it's just so hard to drink when I'm on campus and when I'm teaching. So I always end up dehydrated, which is another reason why I don't normally vlog on Thursdays, but it's my birthday and I wanted to vlog. So I'm doing my best. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna go home, get cleaned up, have dinner, have a nice cozy evening. And then we will sign off this vlog at some point when I am hopefully a little bit more rested and a little bit more coherent because I don't think I am right now. <laughs>
if not hiking, then definitely at least some walking. But yeah, it should be a lovely weekend. But I'm glad that I could share my birthday with all of you. Thank you for another year of sharing my birthday with me via the vlogs. It definitely does help make things like my birthday during a pandemic feel a little less isolated and less alone knowing that I have all of you lovely people to chat to throughout the day. So I've really enjoyed sharing yesterday and today with you. I have a feeling this vlog has gotten a little bit long and because it's my birthday vlog, I'm not gonna try to force it to like be under 30 minutes. So if this one ended up being 35 minutes or 40 minutes, I'm sorry, but I just feel like it was two really wonderful days and I just wanted to kind of put them together. I think I've reached the maximum of coherent sentences that I'm able to put together. I can feel the words starting to get jumbled up in my mind and I'm like, and I just know if I keep talking, it's gonna be a disaster, so question of the vlog. I cannot think of a question. Just leave me a bunch of hearts and birthday related emojis and let me know when your birthday is. I think that could be fun. If you've enjoyed this vlog, do give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. All of that great stuff and I will see you all very soon in the next vlog. Thank you very much for watching this one. Bye!